Hey, it looks like we are live, so welcome back. Today, I'm going to be continuing to work on Kano screen. Well, no, I'm not going to work on that. I'm going to be working on uh, my virtual machine. Um, Yeah, before I do that, I do want to go over some of the stuff that's been going on with Kano and such, right? So, first of all, there was a pull request. Um, Actually, it's gone there, so it's in here. Um, From Tim, yet again. <clears throat> uh, If it'll load. Uh, da -da -da. Why is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, all right, right here. Yeah, add help option and help pages. So now there's like a uh, dash dash help option. Uh, and I can show it right here. So help and oops, it uh, prints out this whole thing. So I redirect that into a file. And I can open up the file. There's this uh, cool logo. That's very cool. Uh, and it's basically a lot of the stuff that's in the readme, right? Um, yeah, so that is very cool. Hello, Anthony. How are you doing? <clears throat> uh, yeah, very cool. Very helpful. I uh, just explained some stuff about it. Uh, okay, that's not how you exit. Okay, and everything. Bye. Um, and then also there is a an installer that is being worked on. Kanoon. Uh, it's like Canon, right? <coughs> uh, yeah. So that is being worked on. So that's cool. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So today I want to work on the virtual machine and get it so um, like a disassembler, right? A disassembler, so that uh, I can run like, using the runtime, and I can do uh, maybe dash dash dis. Something like that, um, to disassemble it, right? To uh, take the bytecode and turn it back into assembly. Uh, that would be quite helpful. So that's sort of the goal. Um, and let's see. Oops, right here. Um, do I want to... Right, so it's going to take the... What is this? Yeah, it's going to take the arguments that are in here. Um, right, there will be a flag that we can use. So um, as I was saying, right, uh, dash dash. Uh, this right uh, if there's no flag then it will just um it will just execute it normally um let's see i think i'll add it to the uh not c file though so something like um <coughs> let's see what do i want to yeah just like disassemble so we have um run instructions right now mm, but it might have something like uh, uh machine this as a, right i think i can just call it that and we'll take the machine right? Doing some work on shard, nice. How's that going? Mm, shard. Yeah, I still have it right here. Eh, what is? Mm, let's see. When is? What's a about? Mm -hmm. Eh. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Okay, um, yeah, this is simple. So, basically, I'm going to iterate over, over the thing. So, I'm going to have an array, an array of, write the instructions, but, well, actually, we need to iterate over all of the instructions, first of all. So, well, it is less, uh, actually, we need to start at entry point. Uh, yeah, and I'll call it I. Um, Alright, so I need to do that. Um, and then, depending on what it is, we need to do something else. So we can, or we need to uh, print something out, right? So we can print that. Uh, no one wants to actually write the line, but everyone wants to use it. <coughs> Nobody wants to work on it. Mm, I mean, I would maybe contribute some stuff. I just gotta give it a rust first. Mm. Wait, wait. It's been a minute since I just pushed. Nice, nice. All right. Let's see. Update what? Update some code. Okay. Very descriptive. Let's see. It's on a very early stage. Okay. Mm, yes. Yeah, so this is just the readme. Mm, mm. Okay. All right, so you change some stuff here, I can see. That is interesting. It's like a for loop, kind of. That's pretty cool. I like that syntax. Okay, okay. Contributors, um, yes, yeah, only two. 
mostly mostly you it would seem. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean maybe I should do some streams uh going through the source code and see if I can if there's anything I can contribute as well. Do you have uh no issues? There is a pull request. Mm, okay. <clears throat> you can join the Discord. Okay, is that uh, oh it's right here. Okay. I will join. Join indeed. It's loading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it joined. Did join. Okay, very cool. I'm in the Discord now. Yay. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I'll go through that. Um, that could be a fun thing to stream. Mm, but yeah, again, I do have to get, uh, brush up on my rest a little. Mm, but yeah, for sure, for sure. It's very cool. It's a very cool project. Whoops. No, 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 no. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I've used Rust some, yeah. <clears throat> this was right. Mm, yeah, it's just some, some of the stuff with the borrow checker is a little, little confusing, but, uh, like, the, most of the syntax of it makes a lot of sense to me. Just some of the, some of the semantic things, right? Oh, yeah. Mm, okay, so I'm going to print this out. So I'm going to print out the... The instructions. So I need like the um this asm. An acquired skill to avoid the borrow checker. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this asm. Do I want it to be like that or separate thing? We don't have um instruction um stir. Right, something like that. Well, not really that. I guess I'm gonna instructions. Do I have something else called instructions? I have it in the machine, but that's not a big deal. Oh yeah, so I think that's not so instructions. That's gonna be an array. And if we that is nothing. So then, uh, if we take the uh, machine instruction um i dot type, we can use that as the index in the array to uh to print it out, right? So I need to write this array, uh, which is actually in the header file. Mm, yeah, so it's basically all of these. Except for the count, obviously. Mm, okay, so grab that, and I'll just put it in here. Okay. So, I will make, with this count, right, that will be the size. So this will be, um, instructions, this count, Oops. equals, this. And, yeah, each one of these will be a string. And I need closing one. <clears throat> so how is Rust for uh for language development anyway? Like compared to um compared to either a language like C that's um more what is like imperative or compared to something like OCaml or a uh, functional language? Like how does it uh fit in there, you know? Okay, I feel like I want to use Vim for this because I can do this. Mm, okay. And like that, like that, and that. There we go. And now I can get rid of all of the ints. It's int, int, I need inst with, well, it's underscore with nothing. There you go. And shoot, I didn't get rid of these. <clears throat> it's quite straightforward, actually. Uh, and see, I had to write tons of code to accomplish simple stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I can just actually query replace all the commas. Then I need to append some to the end. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Place comma with nothing. There we go. And now I just need to make it lowercase. 
I want it to be valid assembly badge in it. Still love C though, no doubt, no doubt. <coughs> Okay, yeah, then I can do this again. <coughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Whoops, and there we go. Uh, yeah, I need a semicolon, so I don't think I put one at the end. Okay, mm, so build that. Make a pile of Okay, what is this? Um, Alright, so these are some issues in the assembly. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, but I don't have a way to use that. But it does compile, so that is what's important, right? So now I need a way to call uh, this function. Oops. Change this size. That's the machine there, and it will disassemble everything. So it should uh, print out all of those. Now there is one thing missing, and I'll get to that. But first of all, I need to add, uh, add some stuff here. So, is less than two, then print music that, uh, blank. Let's see, uh, yeah, I can work on the usage later. And then, so I need to basically check what the, what they are. Uh, what is this? RV0. So instead of doing that, I want to assign it to a, to a string, right? This will be the file name. I just need to be the program, actually. I'll call it that. RV0. Zero. We'll grab that. Use that right here. Don't think the Emacs goal is actually possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, I realize that. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do it anyway once it ends, though. Uh, but I said I did another challenge um before, and I set it way too low. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I set it too low, and then uh, it was like the third day or whatever, it was done. So then I overshot it this time. So I need to do somewhere in the middle. Hello, how you doing? Whoops. So here. Yeah, so I need to basically compare what it is. So I shall want to ship. Can I do that? Let's see. Alright, and if I make a shift, maybe I'll call it, yeah, I can just call it shift. So then I'll return that, uh, shift. Mm -hmm. And this needs, uh, oops, argc and argb, like that. See if I can remember how to do that. Whoops. And then you need to argc, plus, plus, I don't know if and then you also need to RV. Let's one and return RV. Right, is that how you do that? Mm. You have to do this action. Something like that. Got to 15k? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and I've already extended it as well. Because uh, it was like 15 days or something before. So it's been going for a while uh, to get to that. Get to that point. Is that compiled? There you go. Okay. Uh, so if I do that, and then this can be. Flag equals shift RC and RB. Shift that. And then. See, is that right? Yeah, okay. Um, so I can do the file name if, <coughs> so if string compare flag, to me it's on closure and added the arrow and, <coughs> what is that operator? That is interesting. Arrow, hmm. interesting. It has an arrow and then the uh, greater than, which converts them to other symbols. What are the symbols? Alright, it's just like that. Okay. So, actually, I need to check if that is null, but no, we know it's not because. <coughs> oh, no, yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Right, I see. Yeah, that was in here, right? In the. I saw, well, says so that one, right? And then. Where's the other one? 
with the dough. So, all right here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's interesting syntax. So what does that one do exactly? We don't quite get what's going on right here. Well, that's calling Fibonacci, right? It's just printing the return value. Mm. Okay. Yeah, insert them. Okay, do that, and then uh, it means use the output of the funk on the left as the last R. Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, first, I actually yeah, that makes more sense. Um, <coughs> right. Okay, if that, not help. Uh, getting distracted. Uh, this. Let's do this for now. We print the uh black as well. This as a uh, that's the only one at the moment. May add more in the future, probably will. And that is for the last hour. Okay, I see. Else uh let's make the file name thing. Flag. So you can do uh, that or that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Well, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get it. So this is we're gonna call the disassemble on the next file. So we need to uh, if hard C. Let's see. So we iterate it there. And this actually we want to do. Less than one. And then this um if RC equals zero, then what do you use it? So I'm gonna make a function for that, right? And I'll pass the info there. This will be uh printers. Okay. Usage. Space is then. Mm, if you use C plus plus, you're probably familiar with the pipeline operator. Um, I haven't used C plus plus too much, but I think I remember what that does. <coughs> Let me let me let me let me let me it up and make sure. CPP. Um, da -da. Hmm. Maybe I don't know what it does. Is this it? Yeah, maybe I don't remember. Uh, what is? Oh yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, and chain them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I've ever used that in C++, but I do know of it. Actually, I can do this instead. Yeah, it should. R, B, and then A. File can be this one. This can be, um, put this here. And if flag equals null, mm -hmm. 
and do this. Go ahead, check them out. Got the same idea in Rust, but it's simulating through methods rather than having a universal pipe. Okay. Hmm. Right. So then we have the following, and want to change this atom. And we want to pass the, uh, well, we need to create the machine. Let's do this. Actually, that's going to be done regardless. Well, so maybe I'll even create just a flag up here. And I'll just set that to the tree. And then get rid of this. Do all of this, and then if um, this answer do that, and then I'll stop returning it. Okay, now I'm gonna keep the machine and this as a machine, and there we go. Okay, uh, that filter, that yeah, 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 I get that, I get that, I get it, I get it. I do recall that from Rust. Uh, what is this? Semicolons. Where is... What, what, what? Oh, shoot, that's supposed to be it. Oh, yeah, so we need to add that to the header file. The, this asm. File name undeclared. Oh yeah, it's called file name. With that one store. Mm, okay, then we have that. So I need to uh, add it to the header file. Yeah, introduce some unique concepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely looks very interesting. Something I would like to. I want to try it out, you know, because I have not written in it before, you know. <coughs> I've been following it, but have not written it today. Uh, run instructions, and then change this as it. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Uh, wait, has it, has it. Do I do that? That should be it. No different. If I do this, um... What the heck? Why does it say that? Oh, uh, that's not quite right. Mm, I must have done the shift wrong. Label attributes, typed operators, and anonymous labels. Okay. Mm, typed operators. <laughs> Sarah at so how does that work? Oh yeah, I see here that's uh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so what do you mean by uh typed operators? Not really showing examples. Okay. That's fair. Mm, okay, so that is wrong. Okay, operators cast types. Okay. Hmm. Right. Hmm. <coughs> and there's no examples of this. Like in here, maybe. Web server. Ooh. Want to look at that anyway? Okay. Okay. Shoot, that is pretty cool. Not too long either. Uh, on Discord, okay, but those are for an old version. Alright, alright. 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll be going through all this stuff, um, for sure, later. Um, I went to A's. Get you some newer examples, okay. Oh, shoot, you know what it is? I could do what my example for. For that, uh, that makes sense, actually. Yo, what is up, Stan? How you doing? Okay, that is a problem, yeah? So... <laughs> You want to use Canoon Impact? Well, yeah, I um, well, I uninstalled Canoon from my system, and then I installed it using that. I didn't install it properly, and I could use it. Then I uninstalled it, and it uninstalled properly. And then I installed it, released an update, and then updated it, and it had the update. So, um, yeah, it seemed to work. It seemed to be working. At least on my machine, right? Great indeed, yes. Looked into the bug. No, I have not had time to. Uh, this is the only time I have gotten so far to program. Uh, but yeah, I'll try to look at it um, either later tonight or tomorrow. I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so. Uh, so probably tomorrow. Uh, should I need to... The thing is label attribute. So loop uh, is an anonymous label with the attribute loop, which means it jumps to itself on the on end. And uh, that attribute, which is container first code for code, but you could give a loop a name or give it arguments or return types. Ooh, okay. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Right, that is that is actually super cool. I love that. Okay, uh, that doesn't work, so I think shift is wrong, perhaps. Well, let me see, so it's like an array of strings. Right, right, right. <laughs> done this before, but uh, let's see, so if we have that, that is HR, it's our stuff. And then we pass like this, that we can, well, then we don't need to return it, so I don't know why I'm doing that anyway. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. That's probably the issue, isn't it? The main can have the loop attribute. Okay, so, oh shoot, the main can loop. Main can be called or even be anonymous. Hmm. Wait, so is main uh, a required entry point or <clears throat> you don't need that at all? Like basically, um, yeah. Is there? <clears throat> oh, the thing defining it is the entry attribute. Okay. Hmm. I see.
Whoops, right here we do that. Okay, shared object don't have an entry. Okay. Why is it not work? Yeah, so that works. Um, shape. So the shift is broken. Don't know why. We're iterating that. Oh shoot! I'm doing the wrong one. Uh, I am very stupid. Okay, there we go. Let's get doing the, the long, let's get doing the argc. There we go. All right, yeah, that is correct. File name does not exist because I missed something up. Here. We're going to have to ship it again. Registers are types. Registers are types. So <clears throat> you mean you can only store certain types in the registers, or how do you mean by that? Register itself can be an argument to a function. Okay. Hmm. Argument to a function. Hmm. Okay. Is there an example of that? Oh, should this be equals zero? I mean, does that, but if I put as on. Then, okay, there we go. So pushster, push, and if you look at where the world has, I'm going to show us a symbol from. Pushster, and we don't have the operand, so that is a thing. Thing for sure. Uh, so that's going to be a bit interesting to get the strings. Then we have push, uh, native, um, and then another push and another native. Okay, so now we need the operands. <coughs> so um, to do that, we need to know which, which ones have operands, and then print it out accordingly, right? So, uh, that's going to be it to do with this, right? Some funk. <coughs> num r1. Uh-huh, I see. Okay. Oops. Okay, this will be um, just a boolean. Do we have booleans in the header file? Yeah, there is standard bool, so we can use that. 
So yeah, what I want to do is this will be trans operand, right? Okay. And nope, it does not. So that's zero. Uh, false rather. Push does so true. I should probably group them according to operand. So push pointer, that's not used. So it's just gonna be it's false. But um, I need to get rid of that. Push string that does, but in a different way. So that's gonna be interesting to do because mm, it's not gonna give. Not going to give the string back, so I need to think about that. Clean level registers are Rn, where n is any 8 byte num. Okay, right, that makes sense. <coughs> we'll macro them per architecture. Okay, mm, and what architectures are supported right now? Like, is it just x86? R1 is Rx. Okay, that makes sense. Dexter is unused. So I'll put it as false. Um, unused. I a move. Move is. I don't really use that either. Currently, not. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Wait, so there's no. Uh... Wait, can you run it right now then? Say that's unused. Mm, there's no way to write it like okay. <clears throat> Wait, so um, there's no. It's just a concept right now. This is not. This does not have a. An operand. The ref does not either. Alec, that doesn't have an operand, right? It just uh, I don't even remember. Yeah, it does not. Okay. The alloc is the same. Right as well. Most of them don't. Uh, it's not. Opster is on you, so I need to get rid of it. Mm, there's code. It's just that uh, you're running in alone. Oh, okay. <coughs> right. Hmm. Uh, a lot of people want that they'll contribute, but they never do. Okay. Well, I will try to contribute um, <clears throat> as best I can. Mm, old. So this is just the entire old one. That's interesting. Dupe. Dupe uh, has no hot brand. Dupe stir is on I need to get rid of it, even if it's off. I need to uh, set it, even if it is. What the heck? Press G. <coughs> mm, okay. So what is the like long term plan for that, right? Um, and by that I mean, <coughs> uh, do you have a specific thing that you're gonna write with it, or like um, I like explain. Uh, like, do you get what I'm saying, basically? It's true, yeah. So, if it's not, it's unused. True. Unused. Index. What is index here? I don't remember that. Huh? Oh, shoot. That was some stupid thing I was doing. Okay, yeah. This is... I should get rid of that. Okay, and does not have one. Uh, none of these do. Uh, wanted to make a link fully suitable for embedded systems. Uh, new info is done. You see, while low level, uh, most low level wasn't built to run with OS, right?
So that's the goal, or um, has it changed since you said original? Please do. I shall change it so we can just insert the type. Um, you know, depending on the type, do a certain operation. Compare does not either. Yeah, no, it needs to. Call. Um, okay. Call does. Let's call. What does it take from the stack? Mm, yeah, okay. It does have one. So. Friend is not. Jump does. So there's zero jump. This one is one. Three. This one is not. Uh, native does. Entry point. Does yeah, it's like uh like a jump. <laughs> SS does not, and halt does not. Either. But it might in the future actually. I might make it like exit right. Uh okay, that should be it. So now this has some, okay. Now I can print. I do this. This space here. Before um here go with again. Actually, I just printed it here right. So print that. if um. As operand g instructions i dot dot. So if I do that, then once you print the operand so like that, like that. Okay. Print a new line here. Let's go. Um. Yeah. Print out gene um instructions i dot value. I need to figure out the type, but for now I can't do that, right? Oh, and I messed up the, the semicolon right here. What the heck is that? Yep, this is 64 bit, right? Whoops. Okay. Visualization of bool, what? Uh, okay, figured a uh, way better course of action is to have uh, the behind the scenes architecture stuff be defined in a file. And the findings call addresses, instructions, standard function, reference, etc. As long as you can supply a compatible assembler and local, of course. Uh, while well, looking for performance, it would allow for very easy expansion to any type of architecture. Okay, okay, I see. Even virtual machines, right? Okay, okay. Good point. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Um, is that right? Push, right, so the push door, I'll get to that. Push one, that works. Uh, push five, and native, okay, that works. Um, so for the string, well, okay. It's not going to work with, uh, different data types, so maybe I should figure that out first. This can just be a switch there. Dot data type, okay. So I thought, so that I thought, float, uh, as a float. I'll get to that. I have a char, I think, as well. Soon the user, if they got a free day, can make sure to compile to their favorite embedded system without editing any source code. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's a really cool idea. I like that. <laughs> I'll be 
Okay, good luck, guys. Pointer and here we go. They can also then pull request their architecture file to shard so it extends its functionality. Okay. Mm. Right. <coughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a... Mm, it grows based on how many people are using it. That's cool, that's cool. Mm, I forgot the lyrics. Uh, what is it called? Is it, uh, is it the other way around? Maybe it's okay. Right. It's as a... Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually make it for Push uh, 5.5, right? There we go. Okay, that's cool. Uh, when a language focuses on the programmer and machine, not necessarily on the performance or quality of the outcome. Right, right. Right, yeah. I think that's good. <coughs> People use Python, so I don't think performance is a problem. That's fair, that's fair. Python... That is true. Mm. <laughs> kind of a low bar, though. So if... I equals push this push store. Then I want to uh, print it based on that. I was assuming it's string machine. It's called that stir stack. Let's do uh new in six forty next equals and equals machine instructions i value dot as in even define that back here. And that means I need to do this as well. I don't know if all of it, so it looks better. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to call it done. It's a string view. Okay, so I can uh, I can get and this is to be an uh, arg. Okay. New print is on the bit. Why? You print Y, 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 Y. Oh, shoot, I don't have all the macros here, do I? Okay, I need to uh, just, uh, just do it the old fashioned way, then, right? I think it's like that. And then this is. And you dot beta. Well, no, no. Machine. 
stack value dot thing a bit. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it has the string. Uh yeah, few issues. So this needs to be F in quotes like this. And also I forgot the character needs uh single quotes. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Wait, what? Uh, did I add to the new line? Did I... No. Um, mm. Oh, shoot. I have a new line in here. Okay, there we go. Still not right. Hmm, because it's printing it out as, oh shit, it doesn't actually print the character. That's not right. Because the string has a new line. So how do I, um, how do I ignore that? I don't know, actually. Um. Okay, uh, I guess what I can do is just uh, iterate over each one. Put C, is that what it is? <laughs> Data J. Oh, in the stream. Okay. Whoops. Ah. Uh... I do not think. I do not think he did. Yes, yeah, so it still does that. So I need to check. Um, if it's an escape character. Let's see. Let's see, I'll do it like this. Oh, uh, let's see that, and then let's see. I don't know why it's colored like that. It should be, uh, well, I guess the tab one's going to be broken as well. Why is everything broken right now? What? What? Mm -hmm. What is wrong? Hmm. Oh shoot, because I need you double size. I need a stupid. Okay.
And let's see the quick. There we go. Okay. Um, and that looks like the assembly. Pretty much exactly the same. Obviously, the decimal place, but that's fine. Mm, okay. 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 So. Uh, not Canon, Canoon. It is a the installer for the text editor. Whoops. Right here. <clears throat> this. This is what uh, he's talking about. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I need to handle the rest of the escape characters. Let's actually uh, switch over, right? Let's say switch over. Alright, uh, let's see, what are all of the escape characters that is support? That are support. It's fine here. It's, uh, whoops. Escape. Yeah. Alright, N T V V. Uh, R F A. A and then yeah, double slash. Needs to be uh, actually okay. R. Then quote that. That's not bad, though, is it? Let me check that. Uh, if it's slash. Yeah, okay. <laughs> quote and then this one. Which do I? Yeah, let me check that. Okay. And zero. Oh yeah, the link. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whoops, that's the wrong one. There's two. And this is the main tank one. It is Rust. Written in Rust, of course. Oh, it's very, very much in the beta stages. Rest, yes, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, is that? We double double slash okay. Uh, a one is F R okay. B B and T okay. Is that what you got over to Rust? What do you mean? Oh, is that what got you over to Rust? Okay. Um, no, I've used Rust before that. I 
I have not actually contributed to it yet. There's only been a uh, stand and take that. Right. That did not work. Okay. Why? So it's me in the default next. Okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, it prints out the null termination. That is not good. It needs to be at minus one. Because uh, I increased the side though, I tried to account for that. And there we go, there we go. Okay. Whoops, I uh, knocked my desk. Okay, uh, so we can disassemble that. So it's not going to work with labels. I'll make a label here. Label. And I do jump. So we jump the label. First one, so it doesn't get stuck in my loop. And then I assemble it. Uh, doesn't like that. What? What the heck? this thing a few days ago pretty neat although it's got a few deal breakers grain lay mm -hmm. strongly typed uh functional program language all right all right Type by web assembly all right we like that sensible types no runtime type errors every bit of grainy rate is thoroughly suited for type errors with no need for type annotations all right all right uh first one up to okay different programming styles i want to see examples Hello world. How's it look? Module hello. Print hello world. Okay, Python. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, that checks out. All right, delay it. Mm -hmm. Deduce the times, all right. All uh, right, let me turn on uh, this. There we go. And that. Okay, that's interesting. Hate the import and module system. Mm, okay, let's see. Where's the import? Right, I see the module. Import. From list, include list. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. That checks out. That's cool. Uh, let's look at... Oops. All that. Okay. Standard loops. Let me look at actually at the functions, because that's probably the most interesting part. Uh, right. That makes sense. Uh, cumbersome syntax, and then it's still namespaced, huh? Oh shoot, I didn't even look at that. Okay. From array, include array. And you have to use, huh? Okay. 
Interest. Following our equipment. All right, makes sense. Oh, they can pass its arguments. All right, all right. Functions can return functions themselves. Okay. Yeah, so this is like a... Okay, well, right. That's the only one I use. That's functional. Are we returning? Okay. That's pretty standard. Fizz buttons. Right. Okay. <clears throat> that's interesting. I haven't heard of this before. How new is it? Huh. Define operators, okay. Let's see, does it have I have a thing for that? Oh, it's the same, okay. Yeah, this is, I don't, uh, why have I not heard of it before? Because it actually seems pretty big, so. Quite popular. So it compiles to web assembly, right? That's what it says. Ah, oh, yeah, compiles to web assembly, all right. Wasm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can you compile... Wasm to uh, native, like um, NASM or something like that. Uh, can you assembly something like that, or do you have to interpret it? Maybe. Because I don't know Wasm or not. That's fair. I don't know either, so. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty cool, though. I like that. Mm, you know, even if it's not perfect. Why didn't this word go? I do wrong. I already broke what the heck? See, that works. I wonder if I get to some of this. Uh huh. Pretty mean, but it's uh, got some outrageously horrible design decisions, though. Yeah. <clears throat> well, pretty much all languages have that, right? You look at the actual assembly. So let me output this to a file. Compare it to uh, not has. Yeah, so the labels get replaced with not nope instructions. And I don't know that I want to necessarily be able to recover it. Right, this is calling the numbers. That's fine. Like, I think that's fine. You don't get the labels because you can still get it pretty decently enough. Uh, the rest of it seems to work. So I want to actually, can I? Oh, shoot. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. What if I compile this now? This has it. And it doesn't work. Okay. Did not type. Oh shoot, India doesn't have an operator, does it? Mm, no, it does not. So, what number is that? Oh shoot, oh shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that is 17 down. Uh, like the modules. Also, you can't start new lines with operators. Printing variables works and imp implicitly casts to string. Huh? Not in Python, I guess. Types are strangely verbose and they call structs records. The structs being called records, that's from something else too, right? I've heard that some, somewhere else. Four, so four down. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. On type of pattern int. Okay, what? Also, patterns work great until they don't because standard wave functions don't allow for that. Huh? Really? Hmm. I mean, that's something that uh, would be relatively easy to fix, right? Something in the standard library. Why does it still do that? So that probably is not. Okay. Uh, do you want to write this test? Wave three. No, what? I did not type it. I don't know. Why? Nope, not an instruction. It should be. It should be an instruction. Actually. like that. So what what is this about? Why did I do this? Type not why what? What the heck? What is that about? Why did I do that? I don't remember this at all. I need to scare that though if it's uh negative so it's not gonna be there. Okay, so next pile. Okay, no, it did not. Um, Google one with what dot this has it. So why is that? Who's the first jump? One hundred. One hundred is return. Huh. I think that's not right. Okay. That could be a problem. What is this? What? Why right. this is simple back, right? It into your dot this this as and you did okay. 
do a differ. How do you see the diff? Oh, uh, let's. Yeah, see, this doesn't have all this stuff in there. Actually, wait, sure. Wait, what the heck? It's phantom. Gotta try it again. That's wrong. Okay. So there's no not work. I don't get that. Why is that? No. So if I uh just get rid of this. Yeah, it's that works. Um, hmm. Dave, that's him. That's him. We'll, we'll know that this. That's shoot. I didn't do that. So I need to disassemble it again. Entire is as it. Then if I try it on a test, well, I have to assemble it first. Build, tasm, tasm, test, tasm. Test, yeah. Does not work. Alright, so try to jump out of bounds. Hmm. Maybe try a simpler example. So, I need this, right? Uh, this is the label one. Which one? And any label one is there. So, show any label one. And then I will push the zero and maybe the 60 that will exit. First, I want to call it right there and maybe put the red there. There we go. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that works. Try it. This assembly. Ah, uh, yeah. So the labels uh, get turned into no instructions. This jumps five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's correct. Jump to that. And this one call one. So that's zero one. That's correct as well. Uh, let's do tasm, tasm. And we need to output this to test tasm. And I did that once. Try it again. Tasm, tasm. I'll put it first. Okay, and then do that. Safe fault. Okay. What? Oh, that's the right one. I should really have some of that. Checks. Cannot read from file. Okay, there we go. This is the right one. It prints that. Okay. What if I disassemble them? Does it look the same? Jump five, no, but push one, print, red, no, yeah, so that's the same. Yeah, sig, sig B, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I need uh something to check. Mm, like, you know, there's the magic number at the start. I need to check for that when we run the program to make sure it's a valid file. Because I'm trying to run it on the unassembled assembly. Ooh, this is not right. Native six, what, what, what?
think it's not. It's supposed to be 60. Why is it not 60? Hmm. What? 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 Why is it not the right now? Once we print the value, why is the value incorrect? Yet? Okay, let me actually modify it. So let's make it uh, push by. So we'll actually buy. So that way I can actually check. Say for what? Actually, I don't know why that happened. Sixty not right. Yeah, it is sixty. Like this is an issue of reading it or something, uh, because it like cuts off at the end. Shoot, mm, that's not good. Bad work, though. It's yeah, there we go. Now it's the right number. Okay, actually, before I do that, I can use that. Then you that. As in, as in, as in, as in. That's in, 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 with five. Yes. Okay, so that works. That works. Right. So. Okay. So we have to try this again. Pass it. Pass it. Okay. Uh, build tire tire. Rule one one zero ten. If I win that, it does that. Okay. If I this assembly. We get all this. Okay. I'll put that into that file. As in Pazin. Pazin. As in Tim. Yeah, okay, so try to jump out of that. So why is that happening? And where is that happening? It's kind of hard to tell. 453, so that's not out of bounds. Okay, because it's very important that I can disassemble and then reassemble it, and it works. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought I could go though, so I will do that. So, assembler is continue working. Only complex programs. Let's do, uh, assembly. Uh, it will fail. Ah, uh, sure, that was actually pretty big, but whatever. Um, okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, shard. I will definitely look at that. <clears throat> Again, though, I do have to re-familiarize myself with Rust. Uh, but I will, you know, I'll read through it and try to figure it out, and I'll probably do some streams on that as well. Okay, uh, yeah, so, that's gonna be about it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.